Hey, this is Stacy Cobb. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm finishing up the wine glass transformation that I started in my last video where I applied polymer clay. Today I'm going to be painting it. I'm using acrylic paint. This just happens to be Windsor Newton Mars Black and Liquitex Basics Silver Paint. I'm also using an Artist Loft half inch angled craft brush and we're just going to apply uh, a good layer of black paint over all the clay surface getting into all the nooks and crannies. Now as you're painting, you might get, get sloppy like me and paint on the glass. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about being neat. Remember, this is a hobby and it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be relaxing. If you're stressing about, oh, I didn't do it right, you're not going to be having fun. This is about having fun. And the paint is easy to address and clean up. The excess paint getting me, on the glass I found that is it's not just a big easier. deal. Well, like that you can clean it up big. easily with a clean, brush here. damp brush, mm -hmm. and you basically gold. just unpaint it or, it or of basically course. use the brush to so take I'm it off with. Grab this one here. Or you can wait until the this paint dries and scrape it off with a craft knife. And I'm just going to—it's just damp. Just going to go in there and remove it. I have a protective cover on my desk. Now this is just and a cloth a I've applied to the for cover. For me to wipe my uh, brushes on. This on is my what desk. works for me as I'm kind of This is just how I found neat. that for me it works pretty good. And here we're just fast forwarding through the painting process. You get the idea of applying the paint to the polymer clay. And it's basically just getting it into those fine details that were created with the needle tool in our last video. And I had this thought that instead of using Super Sculpey, you could have used, or I could have used, a colored polymer clay, provided th that I had enough polymer clay that was colored. Um, and then it wouldn't show through, like the Super Sculpey shows through on the back side, because that's what's adhering to the glass. So you get this kind of beigey color showing through. Or I could have, and that way I could have skipped painting it all together. That was another idea. Maybe you're wondering about my sanity. Hmm. I keep looking at it in different angles and that to make sure that I got all the nooks and crannies. Sometimes they're difficult to see. I really had a good time doing this project. Um, I'm making this as a gift for uh, a member of my family for their wedding. And as we're going along here, you can see that, well, I'm making some progress as we're painting along. It only took me about 20 minutes to paint the black layer. It's mainly just getting into all those little cracks and crevices. And then I used my blow dryer to dry the paint and try to get into all the little nooks and crannies again. Okay, um, this is pretty much dry. There's still a couple little nooks and crannies that are not dry, but I noticed while I was looking at it, there's a couple little spots that are missing paint. So I have to go in there and just give it a little dab dab. There's one. It's hard to see in this particular light, but there are some spots that are just a little thin on the paint kind of things. We're back. So now it's time to add the silver. Now this is going to give it a nice 
Um, and I just make this really actually kind of thin like a wash. Oh, that was kind of creepy looking. My high-end palette here. And I'm just going to thinly wash this a little bit. This doesn't have to get in all the nooks and crannies. In fact, it's better if it doesn't. You just want a thin layer of it on top. And see how that's looking? Now you can start seeing all that beautiful detail you put in. If you get a little too much in an area that you don't like, before it dries, just wipe it off. And as we apply the silver paint, you just want to lightly get it over the top of the, the high points of the clay. That will give it the shine and the shimmer and give it the illusion of being like pewter. And with the black stain underneath, it will give it that antique detail. If there's areas you want to emphasize more, add a little bit more of the silver to highlight those areas. I think it's really starting to look nice. It's coming together really well. I like being able to see those details pop. And the supervisor steps in to check in on me. She reminds me to ask you to please like and subscribe. Thank you. This is the, basically this is a, an after picture. And here's what it looks like without the antiquing. You know, they haven't been cleaned up, but once I get the excess paint cleaned off of them, they're gonna look awesome. I used a craft knife to scrape off the excess dried on uh, paint and there's a white piece of paper rolled up inside the glass so that I could see that paint real easily. And if there's any small little bits and pieces that I couldn't see otherwise, with that white piece of paper inside, I could easily see it. And then I could use a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol on a very small brush and get into those spots and just loosen that, that isopropyl alcohol loosens up the remaining excess dried paint particles and residue. And then I just would uh, wipe it off with uh, a rag. The cleaning up process can be quite time consuming and tedious. It took me about 15 to 20 minutes, I think, on each one of these glasses to clean them up. Uh, but the dried paint comes right off real easily with either the craft knife. And the craft knife, you could go into the really tiny spots and, and get it out. It was no problem. And then with a little isopropyl alcohol, it just loosened up any little particles or residue so it just wiped right off it was very easy to do and now we're nearly done and just before the big reveal we're going to look at where we started and then it, we'll see what we've come up with. And here it is. We started off with a plain dollar store glass, applied a layer of polymer clay in a unique floral design, 
and now we've got a finished product. Here we go. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And please like and subscribe. See you next Friday.